Wow, what a beautiful object they are. A beautiful silver bird perched as if by magic on a cone. Wonderful. Something very special. Around about Christmas time, I received presents for Christmas, but also at Christmas, things I was going to uh, I've, I've purchased or people want to exchange things with me. So I've got a collection of things which come from both categories. This is one that I received at Christmas, not for Christmas, from Ray Hall. And it's a very, very beautiful version of this impossibly balancing thing where because the position of the point where it's suspended and the centre of gravity, it will allow you to put it anywhere like that. This is also something else, of course, it's very heavy, but underneath you'll see it's got the well-known two little prongs of a bottle opener. It lifts the cap off bottle before you have a little drink of beer or whatever it is. And when you finish it, lifting it off, you put it back on its perch and it does that beautiful action. So thank you very much to Ray Hall for producing that. He'd, he lent me, he'd, he'd returned to me something I'd lent him about um, three years ago, or was it longer? I was so pleased to get this back because this is one of my all-time favourite um, mechanical toys, I think. It's a wonderful rattleback uh, made by Casper Schwaber. He persuaded the um, Swiss government, he was a Swiss designer, um, to uh, help prisoners to overcome boredom by making things in prison under, under you know, uh, under his, his guidance. And this is the best thing they made by a long way. It's a rattleback, but very heavy. And even going the normal way, which it doesn't rattle back, it does still rattle back. But look what happens when I spin it this way. Rattle, 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 turns over, quivers, reverses, quivers again and reverses again. Sometimes you can get it up to about five. I'll try another one. That was clockwise, that's anti-clockwise, that's going clockwise. And then end to end, it might just do a little tiny bit anti-clockwise. You can get five, but he's managed to do six reversals by choosing the surface you do it on. So I'm so pleased to get this back from Ray, because it's some, something I've, I've covered it over many years. Now here's another friend of mine who gave this to me actually for Christmas, just as an as a, as a, as a interesting item. He said, Tim, look at this carefully and see if you can study and find what's unusual about it. So I spent a, ooh, about an hour or two one evening persuading myself, what else can I do with it? You can hang it from the tree, that's what he intended you to do. But it's got something very unusual. When I looked at the colour scheme, I realised what was going on here. It's the old four colour map theorem, which was um, espoused in the Victorian times, where you have a flat piece of paper and you discovered you must have at least a maximum of four colours of countries touching each other. If there's more than that, you, get, you, 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 you can't do it. It's one of those properties of topology, they call it. But they did notice when you change from a flat piece of paper to a toroid, as it's called, you can have up to seven colours, all being contiguous, they call it. So this orange one here, will, when you go around the border, will touch seven, all the other six colours present here on this toroid. Well, this one here is, in effect, a double toroid, and this means that in his one, every one of these, like the green one, for instance, will touch all the other seven colours. There's eight colours altogether, and seven of them will be touching the green one. And you just have to follow it round and show it's true. And when you're tired of the maths, just put it back on the tree, Christmas tree, and admire it as a little tree bauble. Very nicely done. Another one here was a Christmas present, a very unexpected and a delightful one from a lady I've known for many years. Her parents I was great, great friends of, and I met her, I think, on Christmas Eve. It's, a, it's not a kaleidoscope, it's a kaleidoscope. There's no little, little, little beads inside it. Instead, there's just a very, very clever optical system. And when you hold it up to the eye and hold it, you get some marvellous, marvellous pictures. And as you move around, it gets extraordinarily complicated, just as if there are little beads inside. The best effect I got, actually, was my finger coming up like this and moving the finger around and suddenly seeing about 30 fingers, all at different angles, and making triangles. And it's as if I've got loads of fingers up, but it's a single digit finger I'm doing. And the amount of variation it does on the optics is absolutely astonishing. And then looking at very colourful things, like this one here, is, is just, especially this top here, looks just superb through this system. It's a very, very fine kaleidoscope-like object, but kaleidoscope making a tremendous amount of entertainment for the eyes to watch. So very, very much um, uh, enjoyed and I'm very pleased to get that. And the last item is something that a friend of mine, Rob Haig, sent me from Holland. <laughs> this is ridiculous. He sent the hat to go with it, which I'm going to put on in a minute. This is um, a can of seawater, would you believe? North Sea Water 
from a particular part of Holland where to celebrate New Year, they have the um, custom of going to have a dip in on New Year's Day. Well, like in London, they have people going in serpentine on New Year's Day for a swim. So that's the idea. But of course, if you're not living nearby or perhaps you're a Dutchman, but you're living abroad, well, all you can do is get this sentence from the post, put your hat on so you don't get too cold, and then open the can up and dip your toe in. And then you can feel as though you're part of the festival again. <laughs> or your finger if you don't mind. Or your nose, but anyway, what a lovely idea. A can of seawater. I won't ever open that, it's just too precious. <laughs> Do you like it?